cold, dark, empty space. It wasn't until the launch of the Hubble Space Telescope above the Earth's atmosphere that we could get a clear view of the furthest planet in our solar system. Hubble gave us our first view of this icy planet and its moon, Charon. Pluto is officially the ninth and last planet of our solar system. But recent research suggests that it might not be a true planet at all, but one of hundreds of thousands of icy worlds orbiting in a belt beyond the edge of the solar system. Pluto and its numerous cousins form a belt of debris that are the leftovers from the birth of our solar system four and a half billion years ago. Planetary astronomer Richard Terrell decided that if he could find similar large disks of debris orbiting around distant stars, it might provide evidence that other planets were being created inside our galaxy. At the Canada-France-Hawaii telescope on the summit of Mauna Kea in Hawaii, Terrell is successfully searching for new planetary systems orbiting around stars similar to our own sun. We're now finding morphology, very, very exciting uh, structure within these disks. We're seeing rings, we're seeing cleared out gaps. All of these are real indicators that these disks not only are associated with planetary formation, but may even uh, signal to us that planets have formed around these other stars. After more than a decade of searching, Terrell has now discovered six disks orbiting around new young stars. For the first time, even the skeptics realize that our galaxy may be teeming with other solar systems, full of planets just like our own. Most young stars will have these disks, which probably means that most stars have gone through the process which could lead, or probably leads to planet formation. This, this is a, a tremendously important idea and leads to the conclusion that perhaps the majority of stars we see in the night sky, the majority of stars in our galaxy contain planets. the opportunities for discovering new planets will be endless. Future generations will be able to travel beyond the edge of our solar system and conquer billions of new worlds. As we discover more planets around, more suns and other galaxies somewhere out there in space, it's inevitable as much so as me walking on a moon that we will someday walk on those other planets. Well, I think as human beings, we're always looking to explore the next horizon. And now that we've explored our planet, now we look up to the sky. I know there are tremendous engineering challenges and it won't be in my lifetime or, you know, our children's lifetime. But eventually we will do it because we are designed to explore. Quite literally, there are more stars in our universe than there are grains of sand on every beach on Earth. If you run your fingers, through the sands on the beach and try to imagine just one of them being painted blue to represent the Earth and life on Earth, you'd have to be insane to think we're the only ones here.